Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Box 3 Mini. This is uh, similar with its big brother. It uses the same bidirectional transmitter and it will warn you about battery level and signal quality. It also has brushless motors but the biggest difference is it has acro mode and you can fly this in acro. A feature that was highly requested on Box 3 but never implemented. So this comes with that function, but also in a uh, tiny format. So let's see what you get in the box. Beside the quadcopter itself, you are going to get a screwdriver and a wrench for uh, taking off the propellers, which are self-tightening. You are going to get uh, another set of propellers, propeller guards, and they are very nicely made because they have snap-on design. And here under the motor, you have this space where this will just clip on and install. You can also remove them very fast. And of course it comes with a battery charger which is a USB type charger and it's rather slow. And what really bugs me on this bug quadcopter is the fact that it uses this type of battery which is a normal LiPo battery. It's not a smart battery, it doesn't have any kind of magic circuit inside like DJI drones or other things like that but they are doing this because they want to sell you batteries and you have to use this crazy adapter which will make you from a lot of pins here a regular balance charge port so you can charge this but not with a normal charger because normal chargers use a balance port and another main port so not not nice of them of course you can modify this and talking about modifying it the cover comes off just like on the box 3 it's just clipped on so i'm going to take this out and here are the internals of this small quadcopter as you can see the pins here are also labeled and this one is a plus and this one is a minus i don't know if the rest are connected to something but the main port is here with plus and minus so you can modify this at the JST port or XT30 connector and move on with a proper battery and use a hobby grade charger with it so this thing nope nope and nope moving on uh, there's a lot of flex into the arms as you can see they are very thin and the frame is made from plastic I think that flying this on acro will probably result in a lot of damage so you really need to know what you are doing before starting to fly this and I can say that because this thing it's very heavy with battery inserted for its size it's not like a racing quadcopter the battery is heavy the frame is heavy the motors are heavy everything is heavy on this but I think that it will perform nicely and will provide a good flight time in uh, this configuration. Another puzzling thing is the fact that they have not included a camera. There is an optional camera but it does come with this headlight with an LED and it's plugged here where it's labeled FPV so you can take this out and replace it with an FPV camera otherwise you can't fly this in acro mode. And if you don't want to fly with MJX camera, you can always get some small all-in-one unit such as this one. Of course, I'm going to include a link for it in the video description below, maybe some other better models. And this one actually has the exact same size with this camera thing here. So it's just a matter of uh, getting these screws off and putting this inside and getting something to hold it there and give it some tilt. I'm not going to use probably this model because I have to make a I canopy hack here so the antenna goes out. Probably I'm going to do that or not, I don't know. But I'm not going to install it right now because I just want to fly this to see how it performs and if it's good or not that will be just a line of sight test flight. Let's see if this powers on. Yes, it does power on. 
and it has an unlock switch for the motors and it's also the lock button for the motors short press it will unlock long press it will lock the motors the rest of the switches are clearly labeled you can turn off the LED lights you can change rates it only has low rates and high rates and you can take pictures and save them somewhere if you have the proprietary camera because it uses a 3 pin connector here so you can control the camera other than uh, that you have this working L1 button here and this is for auto flips the other one here does absolutely nothing and you also have trim buttons to adjust it if it's drift to one side you also get a quick instructions manual in the form of the transmitter size just like that and beside the labels of the buttons you also get quick instructions of how to calibrate the gyro what angle mode acro mode does and a quick troubleshooting guide and of course the full manual with instructions pictures and it's okay it's understandable it's in rather decent english and it even has here some parts described in case you break something you may find them individual and replace them so that was for the bench testing let's take it outside and see how it performs and uh, here we are at uh, the flying field with the mjx uh, box 3 mini uh, i have uh, prepared it for uh, this uh, test flight but not with fpv uh, as you can see I, I still have the original uh, led here where i'm going to place uh, that fpv camera and uh, i'm just going to do a line of uh, sight test to see how this thing flies and after that we'll uh, probably upgrade it so uh, i have taken the battery protection uh, tab out i'm going to power on the transmitter first the transmitter is on i'm going to insert the battery let it there settle let's see will it unlock the motors yes so that is fine all right beeper is working let's see uh, how this thing flies i'm in uh, normal mode i'm not going to try acro mode because acro doesn't work with line of sight uh, maybe you could do this but you need a lot of experience and that will probably also end in uh, crashing and it's not safe in uh, an area such as this so i'm not going to risk anything i'm just going to unlock it and fly it in uh, stabilized mode oh that's nice it's rather snippy look at that and it's very very quiet and i think it, it may need a bit of trim let me see that nope it doesn't need any kind of trim and it's decently fast I like it I like it a lot I really enjoy its silence it's not doing a lot of noise and that makes it pleasant because it will not draw too much attention make people stare at it or things like that the yo speed is good the pitch level is decent but let's see i'm in low or high rates i was in low rates and these are high rates wow yo is rather insane for you for uh, high rates look at that the crazy yo spin of the box 3 mini so i'm going to put it in low level again let's try a auto flip that works fine let's try that again front flip back flip yes works 
so auto flips work fine but you need to be caution about that you need to have some altitude look at that whoa you can flip this thing like mad I'm not a fan of those but I like to test them to see if they work properly because some uh, quadcopters tend to lose a lot of altitude when they do an uh, auto flip uh, this one actually accelerates the motors gathers a bit of height and then executes the auto flip and that is how they should do it and this thing is really stable look at that so i'm now hands free this does not have any kind of stability systems uh, rather than the gps so it doesn't have altitude hold it doesn't have uh, gps it doesn't have optical flow it's just a gyroscope with motors and the gyro keeps it level while the air current and things like that will make it drift and also you constantly should need to adjust motor speed to keep it level uh, as you can see the controls are so fine and the gyro is so smooth that you can actually let go of the sticks and it will uh, kind of keep the position which is rather amazing so that's the air current that is taking it away but it's impressive impressive i like it a lot So this thing will really be nice with with FPV because it has very good control and it will make it rather a good trainer quadcopter for a flying FPV and probably when uh, you get enough experience you may try to fly it in acrobatic mode but I don't know what to say about that I have shown you how weak the arms are they are very twisty, flexy. The quadcopter is rather heavy for its size, so probably hitting this with the ground fast enough, it will damage it very hard. So that's not what I'm planning to do for now. And that's kind of a uh, thing that put it off the beginner list so if you fly this gently on uh, stabilized mode you shouldn't have any kind of troubles with it but try acro or crazy things and hit it hard then it may simply be fatal for it and the wind has picked up in speed but not a problem you just have to compensate still flying very nicely and it also seems to have a decent flight time I'm going to try something else let's see a punch test so I'm going to put it in high rates and full throttle oh that's decent let's try it again I do have a few minutes of flight on the battery so it's not fully charged now so the punches are not that good as it uh, would have been at uh, full battery let's try again oh that's nice and it does have an issue uh, if you let the throttle off completely look at that it will simply fall it loses stability although with the motors arm they are spinning they are not spinning enough to keep it stable and you can see it will flip but you can recover it mostly so you should be really careful with that when you are going down don't go too fast it will flip and it will crash if you are too close to the ground so keep that in mind
Let's bring it closer for a more detailed view of it flying. And it's so stable, it's so nice that you can you can actually catch it from the air if you want to do something like that, but I don't recommend it. At least not when it's windy. But this thing is so stable, it's so smooth. So really nice how they did that gyro to work so good. You can fly it low, you can fly it slow, you can fly it fast, you can fly it high. And of course you can flip it a lot of times, still no issues. But take care of the motors when you are going too low on the throttle, so don't flip it and that will cause a crash. Let's try this. And that was nice. The motors are now disarmed, so I wouldn't hand catch it without any kind of stability such as optical flow or things like that but as you can see this thing is really really smooth and stable so definitely I'm going to install FPV on it and fly it again to get some footage from it but I really like it and it was actually better than I have expected it to be so be sure to follow my next uploads and soon I'm going to fly FPV with the Box 3 Mini until then, bye-bye.